Ouais. <laughs> All right, so we're at my house today, and we gotta kind of get the Corolla ready to go to New York because we haven't really done anything to it, and we leave in like ten days. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm really zoomed in. Sorry. <laughs> it's probably pretty cool. Uh, what do we gotta do? Pretty simple things. We just need to pull the door cards off and make the door handle work, because I've been getting in like this for the past like while. Um, we gotta fix the windows because they kind of roll up all janky. Oh yeah, you can hear that. This one rolls up and down, but that one doesn't. It kind of just stays where it's at. And it's gonna start raining pretty soon, so that is definitely something we need to figure out. Yeah, I'm gonna start out by just cleaning it up a little bit, because I gotta get all this stuff out of here. Oh, also, yesterday I won this at a raffle. Oh, dude, I know where that bag is from. What bag? The one in the passenger seat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it cost me 20 I bucks. This. I put $20 worth of raffle tickets into a little thingy. Isn't that sick? This is made in 1878. I didn't know they had balloons back then. I didn't know they had. You could sell back this then. for so much more than what you raffled. Like, got it for raffle. Probably. Probably. It's Honestly. fucking older than my grandma. It's older than my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll tackle this side first. The window is just all like off the track. We gotta try to figure out how to keep it on track because I've done this before, and I still have this kind of just unattached. Like a glove. Oh yeah. Look at that doingy winger. So yeah, I think we'll just it doesn't like slide along the bottom as it goes up and down, does it? This doesn't slide along the bottom of the glass the glass. No, that's got its own slider. Yeah, you should glue that. Yeah. Seems like a simple fix. Go to the store and get like some RTV or like an epoxy or something. Like a plumber's caulk. Yeah. Some sort of sticky thing, yeah. Should be easy. And then we just gotta make the door handle work on the other side? Yeah. Should hopefully be easy. The hard part about this is we can't open the door. Oh, fuck. So. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Doesn't work from the inside or anything? No. Nope. Oh, shit. It's just gonna be hard to get to all the holes. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get the door card off, actually. Yeah, just buy a new car. Kat's actually a master mechanic, so she knows what's up. Yeah. Yeah, those two bolts, I mean, screws down there will be impossible. But the rest of them shouldn't be too bad. We need a right angle screwdriver. We do, we need a 90 degree screwdriver. <laughs> they gotta make it's kinda loose though. Yeah, so we're at a standstill right now. And we're five seconds into this video. <laughs> uh, what if we take the outside of the door off? Oh. <laughs> It's a plasma cutter. Oh, dude, what if we take the tiny. door off? You just gotta pull this fender off, which I'm sure you just look at it weird and it'll fall off. <laughs> and then, uh, it's still latched. That. I'll figure it out. What's your we big plan? Get it was bit. get like a bit and like try it. Like maybe it's just. Oh, finger, finger it? Yeah. yeah. Finger well, it. Even if it's not, we could use like pliers. Yeah, yeah. that's it. true. All right, that sounds like a good plan. Sounds plainly, Stanley. The I'll get all the screws I can get out of there. Yo! <laughs> That's awesome. I'll buy you one. For, but it's like, it's your birthday and Christmas, you know? Fuck you. I know. I showed, or you showed up. Uh, the only thing I said to you is you look visibly drunk. <laughs> and you just laugh your ass off and walk away. <laughs> There's some that we can get to. Well, I'll pull all these off and then the plan is to take this bit and stick it in there like this. Oh, yeah. And then use a, some pliers or something to twist it. Should work. Yeah. And then we have to somehow get the door card out of Well, maybe. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, maybe when we get all the screws undone, we can fix it and then take the door card out. And then I remembered you have to take the door card out to fix yeah. it. And also, once you fix it, you don't need to take the door card out. Wait, did you bring Quentin his shirt? Fuck! Yesterday we went to the fair and I had one cat, this giant fucking animal. Like, you know the BB game where you have to shoot the star out of the paper? No. Oh, well they have like a paper, a piece of paper um, with a red star in it. And you get a hundred shots in a BB gun and you have to shoot all of the... Uh, 
star out of the paper and I did it and they're like what like th- what because <laughs> no one does it yeah and then uh, and they had, like have brought over like another person to double check it and make sure <laughs> you're like someone actually won what do we do <laughs> yeah literally that <laughs> happened and then uh, they're like all right pick your prize and there's like four giant animals <laughs> like like they clearly were not planning on anybody ever winning one and uh and so I the cat picked like this giant cat. It's just like it's literally when you put it in our room, it's the biggest thing in the room. Dude, I saw it. I... It's fucked. We came home last night. We're like, what do we do with this? Like, where do we put this? And then now it's just in the living room Herman's somewhere. Terrified of it. <laughs> Herman, yeah. Herman looks at it and he just like freezes and like runs away. Herman's He's so cat. scared of it. It's fun. It's a good time. And walking around the fair with it, some people are like, wow, how'd you win that? I'm like, oh, he shot the star. And everyone's like, you shot the star? Like, amazing. <laughs> DJ's a legend at this stage. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was hard because it was easy, like, for me. Like, I, I just went, and the star fell out. And I was like, cool, I won. And then they're like, what? <laughs> All the other carnies, they were amazed. All right, now we need the... The bit? Pliers. Oh, all right. You're running the show out here. There goes my man, looking for pliers. <laughs> we used to film little bits all the time. We never really do anymore. Here's one for you. <laughs> well done, autofocus. That was really good. Do you think it'll be possible with pliers, though? I think so. Well, that's good. That's a start. I've been demoted. You're the new DJ. I'm just cameraman now. I need to shave my head. <laughs> all right, pliers have been... Acquired. Quinn's the flyer acquirer. <laughs> oh, is she cooking? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> See this tight little space we're working with here? This is not ideal. Not ideal. This is a not ideal. <laughs> this is a not ideal. <laughs> working with this tight little space. <laughs> Just you're gonna use my fingers now. Ooh, an extra not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What the fuck? I thought his hand was just like really fucking dirty at first. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the like his the tape around his fingers. Like what is he doing? I don't oh know. Oh no, is that a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look, you know it's good when it starts with oh no. <laughs> I probably follow more bad tattoo accounts than I do any other kind of account. <laughs> While Quentin's working hard, I'm gonna tell the tale that needs to be told. I'm working so hard over here. Look how hard he's working. So as you know, I ordered Enki um, Apache 2s from TH Motorsports in 4x114.3. Uh, they told me they were out of them, so I said send me some Enki 92s because that's what they had for the same price, so I didn't have to deal with anything. And then they sent me Enki 92s, and then three of them showed up, and I was like, what the hell? And then I tried to return them, and then uh, while the return was being processed, a fourth one showed up. Also, they are 4x100 and not by 4113. I don't know if I said that. Uh, in all the back and forth, basically I spent $200 to ship them back. And then I was like, yo guys, like you better reimburse me for this shit. They looked at it and realized that I never ordered them in 4x1143. Apparently I ordered them in 4x100. Oh, I got it. So I'm a fucking asshole, and I was like being a real dick to their company and stuff. They didn't reimburse me for the shipping, which I understand. So basically, my own stupidity put me out $200. Anyway, so I'm just waiting for my money to return. Uh, I sent back those wheels, and I guess one of them arrived like a few days before the others. So I got the money for one wheel, and then I'm still waiting on the money for the other three wheels, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know. The company was super, super nice. Like, literally never did anything like rude or like disrespectful to me and they like even offered to like give me discounts and stuff on other shit after all this was done but so that's the tale rest in peace my wheels very sorry th motorsports i'm an asshole the apology i sent them was so crazy i was like i am so fucking sorry like i hate customers like me please fucking i'm getting out of your hair forever and all this shit it was like you know it's like if you went into a mcdonald's and like yelled at them and threw shit on the counter and like was a little bitch and then realized that you ordered the wrong food it, that's exactly how I felt. I feel like such a dick. Are you working on the bottom one now? Yeah. This is the spiciest thing I've ever done. Dang, I I want that. Shirt. That's so cute. When I get rich, I'll buy you all the weird fucking clothes I can afford. Oh. Yeah, don't fucking at me. This shit is working. <laughs> this is how what screws were designed for. <laughs> that's why they have the little lip. This is maybe the most worst kids thing I've ever seen. Yay! Woo! Success. All right, there's one more that we have to do. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, she's loose. Oh, at least she's in a gooser's what now? Pooser. Ah. Was that the system right there? Or what? Uh, 
Dude, you are your own ratchet. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah. I love it when she screws it. Up. I don't know why you're using that fucking weird thing. <laughs> the screwdriver? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just like that. Oh dude. Oh. You have a definite, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand anything. So I think the lock is broken. Basically, Quentin just unlocked the door with a key and it opened right up. But the th little latch on the inside was unlocked the whole time. So, weird. weird. That's so weird. Well, that's fixed. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. So it wasn't opening even when it was unlocked from the inside or the outside until I fucked with the actual keyhole. Doing this doesn't actually unlock the car. Maybe. I locked the car, unlock it, still nothing. Hmm. Can't open it from the so outside, you but you have to it. use the key. Yeah, weird. Huh. Huh. Well, at least we know how it works now. Yeah. So let's go get some glue and we'll glue both of the window frames. What's good? All right, we got some goop. This should do her up. Oh my boyos. Cat called DJ while we were in the store and Cat was in the Senex and Cat's like, uh, I don't even know what she said. And I don't even know what DJ said, but I said, get me one too. And it just turned out that they were talking about so, getting something. <laughs> Cat said, uh, do you want a boondie boy? And I was like, yes. And then Quentin goes, yeah, give me one too. Like not hearing the conversation. <laughs> it just worked out for him. Yeah. All right, now it's time to fix our last problem. Hold that. Mm -hmm. Make sure to get it on the front bottom too. On the what? The front bottom. Oh yeah. It says it takes two hours to cure. Just leave it like that. So the car's <laughs> it's perfect. We've got it fully ready for um, a trip. Uh, for, it's I'm totally not. ready to put 7,000 miles on this thing. Um, it'll be you fine. You guys are gonna be so uncomfortable. No, it'll be fine. I just like him imagining no, Jeff sitting in the back seat and no, his fine. knees are just like by his head because no, he's fine. so tall. It's fine. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned how we didn't have a GoPro. And some guy just sent us one. His name is Ulysses Arlarkon. That's a <laughs> wild name. That guy sounds like he Look. can beat up anybody. Alar Alarkin. Ulysses Alarkin. And he didn't write a note or anything, but I was DMing on him on Instagram and he's just like, yeah, I have it and I don't use it. So he That's just sent wild, this to dude. us. That's so sick. This is the same GoPro that I used on my helmet in the helmet cam footage from the last video. Really appreciate it. And it came with a bunch of little goodies and stuff. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. That's it.